garden is growing. He's adding another string to the tomatoes because they're getting so tall. We've actually got some tomatoes on there. They're green, but they are growing. We got some peppers. These potatoes here are just taking off. We've gotten so much rain that's it's really helping them. The corn's coming up good. Looks great. Okay, I want to show you our onions. They're getting tall and they are just not very big around. So there's a hack from a friend of ours that we follow. Their, their channel's called Our Cabin in the Woods. They got a beautiful log cabin in Oklahoma. And this is what he does. He just kind of snips. He calls it giving his onions a haircut. And he just kind of snips the tops of his onions off like that. So we're going to try it and we're going to see if that helps. Just give them a little haircut. And it makes the, he said it makes the um, growth go to the, the onion part. I mean, they look fairly large, but when you pull them up, they're just not. So, let's see if this helps. Another row of string that's been growing so fast that I can't keep up with really? it. He just put a put string on there. Seems like just a few days ago. It's, used, it's been too muddy to even get in here, so I'm gonna put some string up here tonight, later on this evening. Those are doing. Those are still okay, probably for another four or five days. This corn. Row. Look at the rain. We've gotten so much rain, but it's coming up. We're gonna weed. We need to weed. But potatoes. Man, they're just doing awesome. Let's go look at that pepper over there. We got blooms and a lot of pepper plants. We have a we had a huge pepper over here the other day. Poblano. Poblana. We actually have two of them. One right oh, there, yeah. one right here. Oh, that looks good. I don't know if y'all can see that. Look at this. These should be. We should be able to go ahead. And... Oh, them kind. Yeah, you could pick. Yeah, and there's jalapenos on that one right in front of you. Look at those tomatoes in there, too. Oh, yeah, there's, it's loaded with tomatoes, y'all. We're fixing to have a ton of tomatoes. Oh, man, look, the potatoes are exposed. Oh? I guess the rain's washed them off. Look, they're coming up out of the ground, the red ones right here. I'm not going to walk in there because of the... See? I can't see. But... How big do they look? Like really? <laughs> Kennedy and Christopher came over and they have their kitten. Is it just the one? This is our grand cat. Oh, Go get me a shovel real quick, Christian. Our grand cat. Hey. Little big kitten. <laughs> so he is getting some of them up because some of the plants are dying. I don't know if it's because of the rain. Oh, those are some good size ones. Yeah. Sure don't want them to rot in the ground. It's been raining for two weeks straight. Isn't that crazy? You get that many potatoes off of one little thing. Bring it over here. I'm exciting. Remember, yes, I'm flipping amberjack right now in Alabama on the grill. Are you kidding me? I ain't kidding you. We just left there. Tell him he's on. <laughs> You're on. Uh, my wife's filming me. <laughs> uh, yeah. I got a question about potatoes. Um, my, okay. All my. We've been getting rain like crazy here, and so I'm gonna send you a picture if I can do that while we're talking. Uh -huh. And tell me what I mean. It, the potatoes are like some of the my. 
the yellow potatoes, I guess, the Yukon Golds are getting, they're like exposed on top of the ground and they turn green. Is that, somebody told me one time that that's like poisonous. Is that, is that? It's, that's true, it's toxic, yeah. You wanna try to cover that up with dirt if possible. Okay, I just sent you a picture. Should I go ahead and dig them up now or should I? I mean, cause some of them are got a ton of them underneath there, Bigger but how fist. much longer, sh they're, they're bigger than my fist or so. Uh, I just didn't know how long I should leave them in the ground. Um, the general rule of thumb is to leave them in the ground until the uh, pops turn, uh, start dying off. That's what they're doing. They're, that's pretty much what they're doing. They're turning brown okay. and stuff like that. So that's it's probably it's probably about time then. Okay. Yeah, I sent you a picture of that. So if it's green or discolored, don't just throw them out. Don't eat them, right? Right. I wouldn't eat them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's definitely the sun that causes that okay yeah we couldn't hardly keep dirt on them because it's sinking rain so much here but uh yeah anyways my, my tomatoes are like chest high all already. right you heard micah so we're gonna have to dig up all of our potatoes they're ready anyway so here we go I hate wasting those potatoes but we don't want to get sick Wow. Look. Oh my word. Measure that up against your hand. That's a big potato. <laughs> all right, so we got a cart of potatoes. We've gotten them all dug up. And uh, now we're gonna sort through them and make sure he's throwing out some that got sun on them. There's our potatoes. We're gonna wedge them off and then take them in the house. This is our harvest. I would say it's probably about 30 pounds or so. So I hope our friends are ready for some potatoes.